Welcome! Today we're going to talk about this absolutely beautiful 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. The high performance version of the Model S Plaid. 0 to 60 under 2 seconds. Quarter mile. I think uh, it was under nine, uh, around the 9 second, 10 second range. Very fast. <laughs> this thing is insanely fast. You're pretty much faster than 99.9% .9 of all other vehicles on the road. With over a thousand horsepower. Um, and the thing with electric vehicles, the way they make power is they make it instantly. You have instant torque as soon as you hit the throttle, where a gas engine has to rev, or then the transmission has to shift in the appropriate gear to get maximum performance. Not the case. This thing is just a point and shoot, super high performance, <laughs> hypercar performance level vehicle. Um, and you have all wheel drive, so it's great in wet, slippery conditions like this. You can even still go insanely fast when it's wet and slippery out. You just have to be a little bit more careful. <laughs> All right, so uh, this pre-owned Model S Plaid is a fantastic value. I don't like to get too much into pricing because you might be watching this video on YouTube five years in the future. Plus, uh, if it's you know not five years in the future, we change our prices on a weekly basis. So the, if I give an exact price on this one, it might be different a week or a month from now since we're constantly adjusting our prices. But right now, these 2021 Model S Plaids, um, this is uh, January of uh, 2024. You can find these in the $70,000 price range depending on the options and the miles. Uh, when the plaids first came out a couple years ago, they were selling uh, new and used for $120,000, $140,000. Uh, so obviously they've gotten a lot less expensive on the new end. Now you can buy a, a brand new plaid for around $90,000. Um, so that's brought the uh, premium prices down significantly. So. Uh, this is a lot of car, I think, for $70,000. And the thing is, is that what, what other vehicle uh, that makes 1,000 horsepower... So what vehicle of 1,000 horsepower has a 150,000 mile 8-year warranty in the powertrain? Uh, so here's the uh, v remaining warranty. So the basic warranty is good till September 25th... Sorry, September 7th, 2025, or 50,000 miles. But more importantly, uh, battery and drive unit... Uh, that is uh, good till September 7th, 2029, or 150,000 miles. So I know some people are a little bit concerned about the batteries and the drive units uh, on these Teslas, you know, specifically the battery, because the battery could be $30,000 replacing this thing. Well, with 150,000 mile warranty till 2029, it'll be quite a bit before you'll even have to worry about this. You might not even own the vehicle anymore uh, by the time it's out of warranty. Uh, so Tesla has very robust warranties on their vehicles. And there's plenty of examples of Model S's with uh, well over 100,000 miles. In fact, uh, the high, highest mileage uh, Model S out there uh, has over a million miles. It's a 2000, I think, 14 or 15 P85. It's the old Tesla performance the equivalent of the Plaid back back in the day. That has over a million miles on it. I think that person used it as an Uber. It's had, I think, a number of different batteries replaced, but uh, still with over a million miles, they're averaging about 300,000 miles per battery pack. <laughs> So 300,000 miles is pretty good. If I could get 200, 300,000 miles out of this car, I think you're doing really well. That's far longer than probably most gas cars would last, especially ones making over a thousand horsepower. Um, and uh, not only is it uh, faster than almost every other vehicle on the road, the Model S when they uh, recently uh, retested the crash ratings on it since it was redesigned and updated, um, it's set records. It's one of the safest uh, vehicles on the road, one of the safest Tesla products. And then uh, on the European side, which has very strict, they have very stringent uh, uh, test regulations. I think even more stringent, uh, you know, testing than we have in the U.S. And the Model S absolutely excelled uh, far higher than almost every other vehicle they tested. So um, it's one of the fastest vehicles on the road, and it's also one of the safest. So if you value your safety, uh, the newer Model S is very, very safe. Um, this has a beautiful perforated leather interior. And when they redesigned the uh, Model S recently, it uh, got a heavy uh, redesign on the inside. The outside hasn't changed as drastically, which I think is fine because it's absolutely beautiful. Now we have a heated and uh, ventilated front seats, which is really nice. Uh, new uh, design in the center console, nice open pore wood trim. We have this nice uh, wireless uh, charger there. It's charging my phone right now as we speak. Uh, bigger screen, and then uh, the old Tesla Model S is had a vertical screen, now it went horizontal and it's bigger than the screen that you have in the 3 and Y. So much information here. The majority of the functionality is in the screen, which I think is great because Tesla is constantly updating and improving features. The display is constantly, constantly being updated and uh, improved. And if you have hard buttons, um, those are there forever. That's kind of like with smartphones. 
when the uh, first iPhone came out, a lot of the competition, like you know, Motorola and and BlackBerry, they're like, well, no, no one's gonna want a phone without buttons. They're gonna want real buttons on it, a real keyboard. Well, we all know how that went. Uh, and I think Tesla's philosophy of like getting away from buttons and having the functionality in the screen is a very wise decision. Uh, we have uh, excellent parking cameras as well. Um, and how do we uh, put it in reverse and drive? Well, it can uh, it can use intuition. It can decide if you want to go forward or backward. Um, believe it or not, there's a setting to do that. Or you can just swipe forward and backward on the screen right here. Or there's actually little buttons here. There we go. Yeah, you're gonna light up, and you can just press those. They're not really buttons, but they look like buttons. But you can press those to go reverse, park, neutral, and drive. So a couple of different options. Then we have the yoke. I have no issue at all driving with the yoke. I like the increased visibility because if there's a portion of the steering wheel here, it's obstructing those gauges. Um, if you don't like the yoke, Tesla will actually do a, a regular steering wheel retrofit for $700, not too bad. And uh, they can do that with a mobile person. You don't have to take it into a service center, which is nice. Uh, we have Tesla's amazing uh, maps and stuff like that. Uh, very highly detailed uh, with premium connectivity. You can get live uh, traffic updates and you basically have an internet hotspot so you can watch Netflix, Hulu. You can't do it while you're driving. They can do it while you're driving the back screen, but the front screen, you can only watch this stuff while it's parked. Great to kill time while you're supercharging or maybe waiting for your spouse while they're in the shopping or something like that. Um, you can play video games. You can even uh, set up a, uh, you know, a, you can get a controller, a Bluetooth Xbox style controller, or even a wireless keyboard and mouse to play some of these video games. It actually has a pretty fast processor, so it actually can play some pretty uh, uh, graphic heavy uh, video games. And we have like the uh, the whoopee cushion, the boom box, you can talk or play music through the horn, <laughs> multi-track recorder. Tesla's constantly updating and improving this thing, making it better. Uh, the, the, there's definitely a lot more going on in the interior versus a three or wide, which is a little bit more minimalist, uh, which is perfectly fine. You have Tesla's amazing app. We can see there's already a software update that we have to download. You can warm up the vehicle. You can defrost it. Uh, as soon as I get out of the shower in the morning, the first thing I do is I start uh, warming up the vehicle, defrosting it, depending on how cold it is. It also preconditions the battery too, so it's more efficient while you're driving. You can actually do scheduled departures. If we look over here, and if you leave the same time every morning, you can say, okay, at 6 a.m., I want the car warmed up and I want you to precondition the battery so it's more efficient. Uh, generally, uh, when batteries are cold, uh, they're less efficient. You don't get as much range out of them. Uh, so much to talk about. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, obviously the best way to charge is to charge at home. That's the cheapest way. Uh, with the uh, included adapter, you have a 110 adapter for a 110 outlet that'll add about five miles of range per hour. Not the most efficient. It's a it's a good thing, you know. Maybe if you're traveling and you just want to top off the battery, or if you really don't drive a lot, maybe you'll you'll be fine. A lot. You'll probably get 60, 70 miles overnight uh, with a 110 outlet. Um, I have a Tesla myself, and for five or six months, I just charged off a 110 outlet until we got a 220 outlet installed. So now with a 220 outlet with an adapter, you'll get a full charge overnight. That'll add about you know 30 miles of range per hour. That's the way to go. Any electrician can install a 220 outlet in your house. And then uh, with the uh, included charger, there's an adapter for the 220 outlet or a 110 outlet. Uh, then uh, there's Tesla's amazing supercharging network. If you hit that lightning bolt right there, this will show you all the superchargers uh, close by. Look at, uh, we have two new ones that just popped up in Tacoma. Uh, this one at the mall. They always put the, these uh, superchargers by coffee shops, shopping areas, malls. So while the vehicle's charging, you can go inside and kill some time, get something to eat, go empty your bladder uh, while it charges and the uh, Tesla app will notify you uh, when your vehicle is close to being done charging because Tesla actually will charge you a dollar a minute idle fee if you leave your fully charged Tesla on a charger that someone else needs to use, which I think is very smart. All right, so uh, you have lots of uh, fast charging nearby. And then Tesla has an amazing trip planner. So if we wanted to drive, uh, let's let's take it. Uh, if we wanted to drive to Spokane across uh, this wonderful state of Washington, uh, the trip planner will figure it out. So this takes away the anxiety, the mileage anxiety, the range anxiety of owning an EV. If you're not sure if you're going to make it, you just put it inside the navigation, and the Tesla trip planner will figure it all out for you. Um, if you don't have enough range to make it to your destination. It will uh, navigate you to a supercharger. It'll tell you how much range you'll have when you get to the supercharger and how long they charge for so you can make it to your destination or your next supercharger uh, you know, stop. 
And the Tesla trip planner is very, uh, very complex. It takes in consideration outside ambient temperature, if it's raining out, um, tire pressure, elevation, um, if there's a headwind, all those things can, uh, you know, make uh, changes, differences in the range of your vehicle. So it uses a very complex algorithm to make sure uh, it's not going to leave you hanging, that you'll always have enough juice to get to your destination. If not, it will give you, uh, it will route you to a, a nearby fast charger. And you can drive pretty much every one. If we want to drive across country to my hometown of Boston, Mass, it can figure it out for you. <laughs> You can pretty much drive almost anywhere in the U.S. There are probably some blind spots as far as charging goes, but in most high traffic areas, you can pretty much drive almost anywhere in the U.S. with Tesla's amazing trip planner. So that's talking about that. Um, we talked about the yoke. You have lots of voice commands. Wipers on one. Wipers off. Heated seats off. So uh, there's 140 different voice commands. So, you know, some people say, well, you know, you have to swipe through all these screens while you're driving and stuff like that. Well, you don't because with the voice commands, you can not take your eyes off the road and you can give voice instructions to make changes to the climate control system and 140 other different uh, various commands. Uh, so, uh, yeah, just so much to talk about. Let's keep this, uh, let's keep this video rolling along. I have a tendency to kind of ramble on about these Teslas, but there's just so much to talk about. They're so different than regular cars. Uh, beautiful color combination on black on black. It has these nice uh, tinted windows. This one has a standard wheel and tire package. There is the optional 22-inch uh, erected wheels, which look awesome, but you do have to pay a range penalty for those wheels because of the larger diameter, the increased rolling resistance. I think that will knock about 40 to 50 miles off the total range of the vehicle. The EPA range on the regular plot is just under 400 miles. Um, with the 22-inch uh, upgraded wheels, it takes you down to about 350 miles of range. So you lose about 40, 50 miles of range just through those larger diameter wheels and tires. Nice spacious interior. The Model S is like an electric S-Class or 5 Series BMW. Uh, very comfortably have this big uh, glass roof panel, all natural light inside. Then uh, with the redesigned Model S, we have this screen back here. So the occupants, they can put on wireless headphones, watch uh, Bluetooth, I mean, watch, uh, watch uh, you know, Disney Plus, things like that. You can listen to music. You can make adjustments to the climate control. Lots of space back there. It was just detailed. They probably should have done a little bit better uh, cleaning the water out of here, but uh, lots of space back here. And pull down those uh, seats for even more space. And the nice thing of a lift back, even though it has a sedan profile, lift backs are a little bit more practical. And you have even more storage under there. And there's normally there'd be an exhaust system or a gas tank. But since this is an EV, you just have more storage space. The Model S is absolutely beautiful. Um, my, my heart almost skips a beat every time I look at one of these things. And it's an older design they've updated, but the Model S goes all the way back to 2013. But we don't need to, you know, fix what, what is not broken. Uh, so when they updated the Model S, they definitely improved it. They gave it a little nip and tuck here and there. As far as the outside style goes, obviously the inside got a heavy revision. Uh, but it was a beautiful design. We didn't need to change it much. I think it's nicely updated. And already in 2013, when the Model S first came out, it had one of the lowest drag coefficients out of any production automobile on top of being absolutely beautiful. Even a better drag coefficient than like the Chevy Volt and the Nissan Leaf, which we could all probably say that the, the Tesla Model S Plaid is probably a little bit better looking than those vehicles, even though they're great vehicles. This thing's absolutely stunning. And uh, with Tesla's uh, traffic aware cruise control, uh, the autopilot, uh, it'll make your life so much easier uh, when you're driving on the highway. And it also works on regular roads too, but mainly the autopilot's uh, designed for highway use. It keeps your car centered in this lane and it moves with a flow of traffic. In fact, last night, me and my wife, we had to go up to Seattle to, we didn't have to, but we went on a date night up to Seattle to see a, see a band. And uh, since it was a forecast for snow, which never ended up happening, since my Tesla's rear-wheel drive, I decided to take our all-wheel drive Infiniti SUV. Uh, but driving back, uh, I'm so spoiled by the autopilot. For me to have to drive back in dark, rainy weather, uh, close to 11, 11 o'clock at night, uh, just the mental energy it takes to keep the vehicle centered on the road. It's, it's uh, you know, 
it's a lot of mental workload when the autopilot's on it does that for you you're just supervising and uh i wish i had autopilot last night i was tired uh, standing up for that show that concert um and it was rainy and poor visibility uh, I was definitely wishing I was in my Tesla with the autopilot, especially since it didn't snow out and I could have taken a Tesla. As much as I love my Infiniti, when it comes to driving on the highway, uh, you can't beat autopilot. I can feel a huge weight lifted off my shoulders as soon as I put the autopilot on because the car is taking over and uh, it will obviously spoil you. <laughs> Uh, once you experience it and if you have to drive any time, any length of time on the highway uh, or in stop and go traffic, you're going to have a hard time living without it. Well, there we go. A little walk around and uh, discussion about this beautiful 2021 Tesla Model S Plaid. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Have a wonderful day. Um, if you're watching this video on YouTube, uh, some of these videos might be a little bit older. If you want to get updates on our brand new, in our newest inventory, our newest videos, please subscribe. I try to get these videos up as soon as we get the vehicles ready for the front line. As soon as they're detailed into the shop, I get them up there pretty fast. So you can always get a uh, heads up on new products that we have in our inventory if you subscribe to our YouTube page, Infinity of Tacoma 1. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon and have a wonderful day.